Office, and I've got a quick Days of Lot alert that I have to share with you guys. Um, I've got a huge text that I've got to dig through today. We have to dig through in John's Gospel, but I have no choice but to deal with this. Uh, for those of you not familiar with these Days of Lot alerts, listen, you can go to our app or our website. There's a bunch of them on there. I like to take some time from time to time to talk about the world that we live in, things that are going on, relate that to, you know, the Word of God, and it helps us understand the era that we're in. So, with that in mind, do you guys know what the term heretic means? Anybody? Heretic. Okay, check it out. A heretic is a person who believes in or practices religious heresy. So, it's worth asking, what is heresy? Well, heresy is a belief contrary to sound biblical truth or doctrine. And so a heretic is somebody who practices, you know, a belief that is contrary to sound biblical truth or doctrine. So, with that, I want to reiterate a point that I have made early and often over the years. Um, please forgive me if this offends you, but the Pope is a heretic, okay? And it's time that people are just willing to say the quiet part out loud. You know, uh, for years, the Catholic Church, basically from its inception, the Catholic Church has been wayward, has gone the way of Balaam, has, you know, filled their coffers with filthy lucre, and that's a big part of why they exist, even how they exist. But over the years, there have been all kinds of, you know, uh, heresies that have come out of the Catholic Church. Well, just this past week, and I'm going to share an article with you that is not from some, like, you know, watchdog organization trying to at attack the Catholic Church. This is the Catholic World News, okay? This is their own news source. All right, this was September 13th. The Pope, right, the head of the largest religious group, I'm going to go ahead and call it a cult, you know, because... Uh, what other organization could put somebody in a white robe with a pointy hat out in front and not be called a cult, right? You know, if I came up here with a, a long robe on and a white, you know, I mean, I would invite you to leave rapidly because things are going in a poor direction, all right? Listen to what he said. September 13th, he's speaking to a bunch of young people at a Catholic institute in Singapore. And he said, all religions are a path to reach God. All religions are a path to reach God. Uh, notice what he went on to say. They're like different languages, you know, these religions. They're like different languages in order to arrive at the same God. But God is a God for everyone. The Pope is a heretic. He's, he's literally saying things that are contrary to Scripture, contrary specifically to even something that Jesus Christ himself very clearly worded for us to understand. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus says, he's speaking to Thomas, but all of the disciples are there. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Listen, there's not like a hundred different ways you can unpack that. You know, there's not a, a lot of different ways that you can, you know, explain what he was saying, you know, try to make it mean something else. He said, I'm the way, the only way. I'm the truth, the only truth. I am the life, the only life. And no man will come to the Father, our Father, but by me. He said, I'm the only path to God. And yet the Pope said, you can basically choose your own. You know, years ago, the Catholic Church, you know, also declared Mary, the mother of Jesus, as a co-redemptrix. Look it up. They said you could pray to Mary to be saved. Listen, why did I think it was important to talk about this with so much on our plate this morning? Because you all have an opportunity to talk to people that you know, you know, specifically a, a Catholic. Let me be very clear here. My dad was raised in the Catholic Church. He's a great Christian man today. Okay, he's 85 years old, still as often as he can, teaching in the pulpit. Catholics make great Christians when they're released from the bondage of the Catholic Church, of the lies and the doctrine of the Catholic Church. If you know a Catholic... You need to encourage them to leave that church as soon as possible, to jump ship. Why? Because the Pope is leading people to hell. By telling somebody they can get to heaven a different way, you're telling them they don't need Jesus. And by telling somebody they don't need Jesus, you're telling them you're literally paving a path to hell. And I'll tell you what, the church needs to say no more. This needs to be shouted from the rooftops. And so we're going to close there in prayer. We're going to pray that God would deliver Catholics from the Catholic Church and that he would use the, 
the true church. I'm not saying we're the only right church. There's a lot of great Bible teaching, Bible believing churches out there. But the church has to say, listen, this bad doctrine is heresy. It has to be pointed out as darkness so that it's exposed.